So in this video, what we're going to do is look after the text after function to calculate some text after an instance of a word. So we're going to actually do, it's like a search command. We want to do some searching for words. So we take a text after function. Um, so the easy way to go text after is go up to the function builder. And you see, I recently used it and hit insert function. So it says analyze what text. And so in this case, I'm going to stop for a moment. I had to get some text. I thought, well, what would be a good way of doing this text? So I thought, well, why don't we go to the internet and pull up big poems about the word red. And I came up with Robert Burns, A Red, Red Rose. And I said, oh, wow, this is fantastic. I got Robert Burns, A Red, Red Rose. And of course, we're not going to analyze that part of his, why he wrote this, but I think he was comparing his love to a rose. And, um, and so really, we wanted to know what happens is at the, after the second instance of red being used, calculate the text afterward. <clears throat> so how does that work? So first you identify the text, then the delimiter. Now the delimiter is case sensitive and you can change this, but for the most way you can decide what it is. So we're, we're gonna type in the word red. Instance number, which instance of red would we like? Let's say maybe the second instance, right? And the second instance of red would be um, instance number two. So the second instance of red. The match mode, if you leave it blank, it just chooses the number. And if you look at the match mode here, it says, searches the text for delimiter by match. The default is a case sensitive match is done. So it does case sensitive. So if I were to type capital R, it wouldn't account that as an instance. So you gotta be really careful with that. And then the end match is what it gives you, which is space rows, right? And this guy, and we say done. So that's what it is, and look, exactly right. After the second one, it has a space rows and calculates that. We could do other calculations off of this, like len or other things, but it's a really useful calculation for finding the second instance of a word that repeats in, um, in a line of text, in this case, poetry. So I thought that was quite useful. I hope you enjoy this very short video on the text after function and one of the applications of that function.